Alright guys, welcome back. We're starting off the video in my pajamas in my living room the night before we're actually going fishing. I'm a little bit late to the party with this type of video. I know this was like the thing to do like a year or two ago on YouTube. Guys were using like kitty rods, catching bass and stuff. But when I searched, I didn't really find people using those kid toy rods to catch trout with. So... Um, and I've been wanting to do this video for a long time, but I didn't want to spend the money on one of those stupid rods because I would never use it again. So finally this summer, I was at Marden's, and if you're from Maine, you know what Marden's is. Um, and I picked up this rod, and it was only, the price is still on there, $5.99. So $6 for this Alvin and the Chipmunks rod right here. Let me get this drag screaming so you can hear what she sounds like. That's what we're going to be hearing all day. It's a 29 and a half youth size fishing pole. And it says spin cast reel. It does have six pound mono line on there though. So, I mean, look at the quality of that line. That is some good looking mono. Six pound mono, man. Well, this line, as you would expect, is complete garbage. So one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change the line on this and I'm going to do it tonight. Fireline Crystal 14 pound. So it's like the diameter of 6 pound basically. And the reason I'm doing that is because it should cast a lot better in this, in this reel. And it shouldn't bind all up in there like this mono that has memory. I'm also going to be able to set the hook a little bit better. And also I'm not going to be worrying about this really cheap line breaking off on a fish when I've got like 50 yards of line out. And then we've got a trout swimming around the river with 50 yards of mono hanging out of its mouth. So uh, I'm gonna put 15, <clears throat> I'm gonna put 14 pound braid on here. <clears throat> Hopefully we'll be able to bomb some spoons and uh, really have a lot of fun with this. So guys, stay tuned for this video. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna get this thing set up and then I'll see you guys out on the river tomorrow morning. So I know the water level is down ridiculously low right now. Oh, so this might make for kind of a tough, for a tough little challenge, but uh, we get the Alvin, the Alvin rod, and uh, we're just going to be throwing right now. We're going to be using this Ever Lures Rainbow Trout spoon, and uh, yeah, let's just let's just go right into it. I don't want to wait any longer. Okay, well that worked great. Can't. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on, dude. The retrieval on this is so freaking slow, dude. All right. I'm going to move to a different spot real quick because I think I might do a hookup. All right, let's see. Got one. Oh. You tighten that drag up a lot. <laughs> First cast. Oh. Oh. Brown. Brown was chasing it. You want that Everett Lure spoon. All right. I'm just going to crank the drag right up. Got one. Got one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Brook trout. Let's get him in. Nice looking fish. Oh, wow. <laughs> this little rod. Oh no! No, I lost it. Oh no. I lost him right at the net. Oh. God. <laughs> oh, once I get close, it's hard. This rod doesn't have much give to it to keep him pinned. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Oh, he lost it. I don't have good footing here. Yeah, yeah, there's one. Yeah, oh, lost it. Dude, this drag sucks. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that's a good cast out there, I think. I probably look like an idiot out here for anyone that's gonna show up and see me fishing with this bright yellow friggin' Alvin the Chipmunks fishing pole. There's one. Oh yeah. There's one. Go watch my foot in here. Yeah, he doesn't like it. Come on. No, dude, what the f 
Are you kidding me? My hook is sharp as hell. Ah, this rod does not absorb head shakes very well. Second thought. Maybe should have left the mono on there. I don't know. It's hard to tell when it, the fish is actually on there too. All right. I got to move to a different spot. Maybe come back to this one. There's one. Yeah, he's still on. Yeah, he's still on. He's still on. Little salmon. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Nice little landlocked salmon. I kind of like position myself. The seam is right here. A little bit of a pool here. And sometimes the fish like to hang out in this little area, this little eddy type area right on the seam. They can pick off bugs and bait fish coming down through. And that's just what happened there with that salmon. There's one. Oh, lost him. There we go. Yep, that's a better fish. Yep, that's a better fish. Yeah. You ain't getting away from me, you bastard. <laughs> nice fish. Let him go here. So, the deal with this little Alvin rod, you cannot let off. You cannot let off when you're rolling the fish in. You just gotta horse it. <laughs> Hope the hell he ate it good. And then you just gotta horse it. Got another one. Brown trout. Came off in the net. Nice little brown. Let him go. Okay, so. That was a little bit of a walk. Anyways, I don't know, we'll see. There's one. Got one. Come on. Yep. We got him. <laughs> I'm gonna get him right back. Get another one. Another one. Oh, he smoked it. I didn't hook him very good. I didn't hook him very good. That's a nicer one. That's a nicer one. Oh, where's my net? Ah, shoot. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's a big boy. All right. Hey. All right, we'll let him go. He's a nice looking guy. No. Nice male brook trout. You see the notch on his tail there. That means he's been stalked. He's been clipped. So, all right, maybe we can get one more out of here. I don't know. Oh, this thing's casting like a dream now. And by a dream, I mean garbage. Yep, yeah, another one. Another one. Oh. Uh, yeah. Holy smokes. You can see I'm not really hooking them that good because this rod is just not really loading up that good on these fish. So I'm not really getting a good hook set either. That's a nice looking fish though. I mean, look at that guy. Nice looking white fins and everything. We're gonna let him go. He wasn't too awfully beat up from the hatchery and the truck and stuff, but colors, colors on them are nice. Uh, I am using this lure here that has a lot of pink on it, blue. I really like lures that have a little bit of pink for brook trout and browns. Um, it's not really that important right now just because a lot of these fish are stocked, like I said, but you do want to use something that's durable and that's going to hold up to multiple fish catches, something with a strong hook, something you can easily release the fish with so you can get back in there and just hammer them. Oh, yeah. Yep. Got it. Got it. Smoked it right there. All right, guys. Uh, well, that's the last fish of the day, guys. We're going to let him go, and uh, we're going to head back home. So... All in all, pretty good day. I finally found some browns at the end. It seemed like a lot of the browns are hanging out in the heavier current. 
and uh, a lot of those brook trout were just kind of being lazy slobs hanging out in the slack water. But um, yeah, pretty much all day, actually, yeah, all day, using the Everett Lures, eighth ounce rainbow trout spoon. All right, guys, so I'm gonna head back home. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure if you haven't already subscribed and hit that bell notification button for me if you like my videos. And uh, we're gonna catch you guys next time out on the water hammering on some trout.